Oh, and Bill sent me some stuff. So I've officially gone down the rabbit hole. Welcome to Let's Make Tracks. So let's see what Hornby sent me in the box. So I bought, oof, <laughs> the Flying Scotsman bundle. So what we've we got here, we've got the track pack number one, track pack number two. We have two third radius curves and two short straights. Power track. And we've got the rest of the thirds there, so it's 10 in there, that make up 12, that's the full loop. Track pins, or no, not track pins, power pins, sorry. Uh, Re-railer ramp. Uh, do this one. The basic analog controller. Uh, let's do Pullman's. So all four of these are lit as opposed to the standard starter set. So we have here Octavia. Plato, Plato, Zenobia, Zen, I oh, can't say that right, <laughs> tongue tied, and brake van, brake coach number 65. Almost said van, the cars. Right, uh, we'll go for this one first, save the best to last. Got to tear something up every now and then. Keeps the stress low. Don't need that. So it's your basic Hornby power plug. And then the main event. The Flying Scotsman. So this was mainly the reason why I bought the bundle as opposed to the set. Because you get Flying Scotsman as opposed to Blink Bonnie that comes in the starter pack. Right, let me just grab my light box and all my other stuff and we'll take a good look. Okay, and we've got Flying Scotsman down here on the turntable now in the light box. Ooh, out of focus there. Uh, she's in her LNER apple green livery. Livery? Can't talk. Um, she's got the original style tender from the Great Northern. And just as we go around there, that cab detail in there is painted extremely well. Um, I'm not going to do a uh, full review at this time. If you want me to do a full review, um, if I haven't done one already, please comment down below. That's uh, probably a bit much to take up in this video today. Right, let's move on to the uh, Pullman cars. Okay, so I've got one of the Pullman cars on the uh, turntable here. Uh, three of the four coaches in this set are classed as first-class kitchen cars. So I've only got one on the turntable because apart from the names, they're pretty much all exactly the same. Uh, we have Octavia, Plato, and Zenobia. I think I'm saying that right. Um, yeah, so they, these ones in the bundle come with the interior table lights. Um, the, as far as I'm aware, please correct me if I'm wrong, but the ones that come in the uh, set with Blink Bonnie do not have lights, so another reason why I bought this bundle. Uh, you'll also see, as it goes round, the uh, corridors actually are open, but it does come with uh, attachments, which I'll have to dig out in a second. So let's get the uh, brake on the turntable. 
and here we have the fourth Pullman car on the turntable. This is a third class brake car and of the four that I got in the bundle this is the only truly unique one as you can see with the guards department at the back. The guard label on the door is legible. Everything else is exactly as you would want it to be. The same as on a double O size coach is really well put together. Um, so again as we see the doors coming round uh, the corridor is open as well so I have to have a go at um, I'll probably definitely put the end door into the train I'm not sure about all of them I'll see how easy it is have a better look there so there's detailings on the doors as well so have a crack at that later right so let's just put a track together and then we can get these little beauties moving I reckon sounds like a plan <laughs> Right, this seems like the perfect opportunity to test the railer ramp. Pop it there. Alright, get rid of that. There we go. Alright, uh, Scotsman first. Down the ramp. Beautiful. Just shove you down there. Right. Followed by brake 65. Plato, Zenobia, and Octavia. Went down the ramp, lovely. Um, just need to shimmy these down a little bit because uh, didn't give myself enough room. Scotsman's in the way. But that ramp, oh, even dragging it on, that's an uh, amazing feature, this. I love that. Saves a lot of time. Right, let's plug this bad boy up. This is an amazing set. This, you know what, I'm a bit lost for words, honestly, because um, it's not a scaled up version of the railroad range. I mean, you can see the lights in the Pullmans as is. Oh, oh again, these, the light up Pullmans come in the bundle, not the start set. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that already somewhere else, but that was a factor as well when buying the bundle. But these are, would, would you call it premium or just non-railroad? <laughs> these are the not, not railroad standard Pullman cars, just smaller. All the writing on them is legible. Um, the names are all there. Uh, the number in the case of the guards van. As I mentioned earlier, the guard, not that you can see it from over there but the printing is legible, you can read it. I still haven't put that door on. <laughs> I'll do it later. Um, everything on the Flying Scotsman is as it should be. The number on the front's legible, the name plates. Um, there's no writing in the crest on the cab door, but um, that is quite a nice print as well. Just there. So yes, I do recommend this line, <laughs> see what I did there, the size, so let's, 
I don't know if you can scale that from where you are. If I get around to doing a review of this set, this is more of an unboxing, then I will, I've got a, a steel somewhere, I can literally lay it down next to it and you can see exactly how big this is and I'll see if I can find some other items to scale it against. But um, yeah, I thoroughly recommend either of the sets you buy or if you want to go slow and steady and buy everything individually, that's up to you, but I've done the math, it's expensive to buy the controller, power track, plug, the bit of track you want, it's expensive. So it is actually cheaper to buy the sets. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna sum up because I want to go play trains. And I'm sure you want to play trains as well. Or just, maybe you wanna just watch trains, but I think deep down you wanna play trains, don't you? That's why you're here. So I'm gonna go, have a good old play. Thank you for joining us, us, me, I'm a me. Thank you for joining me for Let's Make Tracks. Hope to see you again in the next one where we will look at possibly extending. Yes, I think we'll extend the track first, increase the play value, and then uh, we'll go from there. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.